Coach Turnbull, last duel of the season for you guys. You said you, uh, you're ready to, to move into the tournament mode. I think you guys are more of a tournament team. I'm sure you would agree. Um, but what's the focus going to be, you know, after this duel for the, you know, here to the EWLs? Well, we're hoping we're a tournament team. But right now, you know, we've had a year where we got a lot of people, some experience that wouldn't normally get to wrestle, and that's that's a real plus. But it's been very challenging not getting the wins that we're accustomed to doing. Um, some people have really benefited from it. Right now, I think we've got five wrestlers that are really starting to develop that we can take into the EWL tournament um, that can really compete to try and get to the national tournament. Uh, Shane Young at 25, uh, former three-time state champion from Pennsylvania, is wrestling very well. Uh, someone that I think, if we get him to a national tournament, can win a few matches, and he's someone that in the future can compete to win a national title. So it would be great if we can get him in that position. Colin Johnston is a true a uh, true sophomore from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania that was a state champion and a junior national champion and has been wrestling very well this year. Uh, he's got 20-some wins, maybe three losses out uh, at uh, Reno. He and I can't say at Cal Poly's Novinchek, uh, you can correct me. I'm Novotchkov. Not, there you go. My, my Russian's not very good. <laughs> but, uh, they, they went through uh, the regulation tide, went to the overtime, went to the ride out. That he's right in that category where he's getting better and better going into the national tournament. So hopefully we can get a good dual meet out tonight, go into the EWL tournament and build and get ready for the national tournament there. Um, Donnie Jones has been a little erratic this year, but the last part of the season he's starting to wrestle to where uh, we felt that he would. He's very dangerous. Uh, last year he and King split one and one. I think in the dual meet this time of the year, Donnie beat him and then King went on and won a national tournament. So Donnie's capable of wrestling in that area, and if we get hot at the right time of the year, he could be very dangerous at the national tournament. Um, Kyle, Rooney, Kyle Rooney at 197 is really a great story. He transferred, I think, from a Division III school, um, really knew nothing about him, showed up on our doorstep, just said, you know, I really want to see, I don't want to undersell myself, I want to see if I can wrestle at Division I. And, we watched him for a couple months and we were sure that he couldn't. He just looked kind of clunky and technically was behind. And, but he's got such a great heart and he's learning to do what he can do with that body of his. And he's, I think in the last three weeks, upset two nationally ranked guys, had a fall last night. He's becoming more and more confident to where uh, those, are, those are things that are really fun in coaching where you see someone that has a dream not a tremendous amount of ability, but a great desire to work harder than the opponent and then see him get rewarded for it. So uh, tonight will be a good match for him. I think if he wins, he'll seal the number one seed, which if you ask me when he transferred, would that be possible? I tell you, <laughs> I'll bet you my house that may not happen. So it, those are the great things in sport, the, the human spirit like that. So Kyle is wrestling very well. And the heavyweight uh, came to us a junior college national champion with a lot of success. Um, he wasn't quite used to that upper level competition and he, he hit a slump mid-year where he took four or five losses in a row and it really bottomed him out. And to his credit, once he hit bottom, then he rose back up once he let go of all whatever the fears were and concerns about winning and losing and started wrestling to where now he's wrestling at a good level. That Tomei came in from Pitt and they had a battle and we came out on top 2-1, 2-0. Uh, this will be a very good challenge for him tonight, and hopefully we can take that momentum into the EWL tournament and, and then to the national tournament. You are in your 32nd year, correct? That I try to hide from. That gets synonymous with saying you're old, but I think that's correct. <laughs> that's not what I, I was think, saying. I think that is correct. I think 32nd year? I believe that's correct. Okay, 32nd year, and uh, you guys every year are, are competing for the EWL title. Is this year kind of like odd to you? This match is usually for the EWL title. That's correct. Yeah. Is it a little odd for you to not be in that position? Well, I don't know if odd's the right adjective. There's probably a few adjectives <laughs> for that. But, but you know what? It, it, you, it, this sport teaches you as an athlete and as a coach to never get too arrogant and never get too humble that you keep it right in the middle. That um, We started the year with a team that I was very confident would compete in that top 15. And we've lost six starters to various injuries and different things. And, and they all return. So we'll be very good. So that would scare me more if we didn't have people you know, waiting to get healthy and coming back next year. But um, 
the thing that's been good about it, and I don't feel that way right after matches, it's why you can't ever get an interview <laughs> with me at the end of a match, is that it's given some people that have worked really hard in the program and do everything right that aren't maybe quite as talented as the guys that are front line, a chance to get out there on the mat and it's been their dream and, and they're enjoying it and they're getting better. It, it's just that it's, it hasn't been a, a lineup that we can compete for the overall win too many times, but it's still really a pleasure when I can separate myself from that instinctive competitive feeling that uh, these guys are really benefit from and they're getting better. They all return and that's going to make the program better in a lot of ways and a lot of intangible ways too. So uh, it's been a very interesting year and uh, you came and I think you saw the pit match or maybe not that it was a, a really well wrestled match so they are capable of doing that. Just unfortunately tonight we, we lost Roe for the weekend and Roe is someone that, that can step up, and he's someone I missed in the, uh, the previous uh, comment, but Roe, I think, won three national prep titles in high school, signed in Nebraska, transferred to us, and is just getting matches under his belt, not wrestling this weekend, and if he gets hot at the right time next weekend, he also could make uh, a difference at the EWLs in the national tournament. So uh, it's been a very interesting year, and in a lot of ways I'll reflect back, and it, and it was enjoyable but painful at the same time because we've got some great kids out there that are getting better and are excited. Uh, we're just not winning all the dual meets that we're traditionally used to wrestling or winning. All right, Coach General, you got anything else for me? Nope, I'm ready to go over there and be nervous for a little while. So, But thank you very much. I always appreciate the opportunity. All right, hey, thank you for the time. Good luck, and we won't be talking to you afterwards. We got you before, and we're that's, all good to that, go. That's a better place for me. Thank, thank you, you, Coach Turnbull. Yep.